Lacrosse Technology Wireless Wind Station. Gonna hook one up, gonna put it up. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. What uh, I'm going to be doing in this video, which is something a little bit different, is uh, putting up and setting up this uh, Lacrosse Technology wireless weather station. Claims it has a 400 foot range. We'll see because where I'm going to put the uh, sensors are about 300 feet from the house where we're going to have the monitoring base. Uh, you can also go and put an app on your phone for this for Lacrosse View and Wi-Fi and all kinds of other bells and whistles. Whether or not I'll go that far, I don't know. Uh, we do have a weather station now. It's probably 10 years old. Uh, originally it uh, gave us the uh, rainfall amounts and it would self-empty sometimes. It gave us the wind speed and direction, the humidity and the temperature. And this is mounted back on one of our greenhouses um, on the end panel. And it is had worked well but this year it uh, finally kind of gave up the ghost it does have a solar cell on it to charge the battery I did think well maybe that old NICOD NICOD NICAD battery I'm thinking fish I guess cod the NICAD battery may have gone bad so I did replace it with another one but uh, I think the electronics in it is just shot I can't get anything out of it even if I take the uh, receiver right out there by it and try to sink it just doesn't sink anymore so it's time for a new one. It is important for us, uh, particularly in the winter time, to be able to monitor the wind speed and the temperatures uh, because we do have four greenhouses back there and we have to keep a very close eye on them. We do have sensors and alarms inside the greenhouses which uh, report back uh, actually direct to our computer in the house, but it uh, would be nice to know everything outside and what is going on right here and not just relying on, let's say, Alexa to tell me what the weather is in this area when it's, that might be 10 or 15 miles away. So I'm going to get this thing unboxed and I'm not going to show you taking it out of the box. If anybody can take crap out of a box. But we'll see what's involved and uh, go out and it's not a very nice day at all out there but uh, try to get this thing mounted. Here's a little bit of a view of uh, the existing one. Okay hopefully you can see this. This is our uh, Hopefully you can see this. This is our existing weather station. It's been up there for many, many years. And it had a, uh, a rain gauge on it that was supposed to self-empty that did sometimes. Uh, the uh, anometer, the wind direction, there's no wind today at all, so nothing's really moving. But the, uh, the solar cell in that has gone bad, or the battery or something. And the rain part hasn't worked for quite a while, so hence the need for a new one. Okay, this consists of just a few parts. Of course, you got the, the screen for inside of the house for monitoring. And it comes with a uh, power adapter, and then you stick some AA batteries in it, so that, that part's pretty simple. The uh, wind sensor comes with this bracket here. You mount on the wall, and then this will mount to it with a couple of screws. But it did surprise me, and I guess I didn't read the box real close. This requires two C batteries. Now, we don't have C batteries. I'm going to have to go to the store. We got double A's, we got D's, we got triple A's, we got button batteries, CR2032s, got just about everything but no C batteries. The uh, temperature and humidity sensor, little door comes off the front, you throw a couple double A batteries into that, you're good to go there. So, this is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, go out and Buy some batteries, I guess. Okay, so back, got some batteries. Got them installed. I'll need to go out and put the bracket up on the uh, side of the greenhouse. And I've got the uh, display plugged in down here. I don't have an LED light on my wind speed sensor, though. It's supposed to blink. There's how the batteries go in there at the bottom. It, Pretty simple. I don't see a transmit button. There's a little blue LED on the side here that's supposed to blink occasionally, and I have not seen it blink yet. 
But I spun this and it tells me I spun it at four miles an hour, so it must be working. Yep, there it blinked. Let's screw this back on. I'll have to go out and get that thing mounted. Got the display set up here. And it looks like this. Of course, I haven't set the date and time and that kind of thing yet. But uh, I've got the sensor, the outdoor sensor, in my pocket. So it shows it being 68 degrees. And in the shop right here, it's 61. 47 percent. It looks like it's a little more humid in my pocket than it is out there or in here in the shop. But we'll go out and get this thing mounted. Okay, here's where we've got them mounted now, and we got a very, very light wind today, and this one's turning. I, I took the old one down while I was up there, and I discovered why it didn't turn anymore. It's because the bearings froze up in it. So, may mess with that a little bit. Uh, it is 10 years old, so I'll probably just scrap it, but I'll still have to play with it. Okay, so I've got the uh, wind monitor and the temperature and humidity sensor mounted, and after I did a little bit of thought and I was on my way out there to mount it. I decided to put the temperature and humidity sensor inside our main greenhouse. I do have a remote temperature sensor for that but I do not have anything to remotely uh, monitor the humidity and that little sensor should be just perfect for that. Right now it's showing that the humidity in there is 64 percent and outside is 44 percent. And it's also considerably warmer in that greenhouse because the sun came out. Uh, just recently here, so that temperature will go up pretty quick out there. Uh, as far as mounting it, uh, they give you some screws and some little anchors here. I'll tell you right now that the screws are made out of what I call Chinesium. You might as well toss them and get some good stuff because the heads will strip out immediately. They're also extremely fine. You'll need a number four screw to mount that wind speed sensor. I don't know why they have the base drilled out so small, but um, I had screws, so we got it mounted and got it up there. While I was up there, I took down the old one. And the uh, wind speed sensor here, I, it kind of goes click, click when you, uh, then it stops. So I think that the uh, bearing might be shot in that. Uh, the wind direction was set working, but the uh, electronics portion here where there's a little solar window, I may play with this a little bit, or I may toss it, we'll see. The uh, display here I've got set up now, and it's very easy to set up, even without the app. So as you can see here, i got the time and date set correctly now. Uh, wind speed, it's almost calm today. It's showing 2 miles an hour with a maximum speed of 5. What it says outdoor there at 70 is actually the temperature inside that greenhouse, and a 63% humidity. And the temperature in the shop right here is 62 or 44% humidity. And you can see every once in a while you see that little thing flash at the bottom of the uh, No Connect app server. That's because I haven't installed the app on my phone yet. But that, uh, that's kind of a nice little thing. It even shows you the forecast over there. Once I get it connected to our Wi-Fi, um, it'll show the full forecast. So that's just this little rundown and my thoughts about this uh, lacrosse technology uh, weather station. I've done other ones before. Uh, in fact, this one here. This is a lacrosse. It's just, like I say, it's 10 years old. As you can see, it's discolored from the weather and everything. So, pretty good unit. Uh, the LCD display I do have for that one is black and white, which has just worked fine. I just, uh, because this quit working, it wouldn't give me the uh, wind speed direction and temperature anymore. It became kind of a problem. So we got this other one hooked up, and I'll get the app put on my phone just for kicks, I guess. I don't really need it. And we'll go from there. So that's just my thoughts on this little cross technology weather station. If you got something out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. And of course, we're always looking for subscribers. And if you click that bell right next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified when we post another video. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop. We'll see you on the next one.